change of plan route wise because it what we originally planned wasn't going to work out so originally we were going to come to Ez after Monaco but we've come here first and Stunning. oh my gosh Stunning. you can't not come here if you're in the area near Nice or Marseille or anywhere if you're nearby you gotta come so cute and we've come nice and early yeah. and there's like no one around yeah. so get in those shots <laughs> To the garden on top, four euros per person because students. students. Well, I'm a student. <laughs> I'm, I'm committing fraud basically. <laughs> but look at that yeah, view! I didn't even notice that right there in the distance. Yeah. I was looking at this little nice. island. Ooh. Right in the distance, me. I'm pretty sure. But it's stunning. Abs. God, thank God we came. So we've made it to the very top and there's a little dusty part that you can kind of see just around the corner. <laughs> Got it? That is the airport which is basically like just around the corner from where we're staying in Nice. So Nice is just beyond the hill but right in the distance, the furthest bit of land, it's Antibes. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning isn't it? already have a tip for you guys if you come to Ez come before 10 o'clock yeah. we got our bus just after 9 so got here what maybe 9 40 ish we've been here for almost an hour and as we're leaving there's already lots of people and I think a few Americans on like a tour and stuff so I recommend Sorry, Coming earlier. So to get to the bottom of Ez, which is where we are either getting the train or a bus from to get to Monaco, um, this little path, Chemin de Nietzsche, looks a bit like this. Yeah. We would recommend getting the bus to the top and then walking down, partly so you're not knackered. Because um, it's quite steep in points, isn't it, Kirst? Yeah, um, it is. And it's right. uneven. It's uneven yeah. So we probably recommend getting it to the top and then you can have a nice brisk walk down. Um, take your time, really. So that's what we'd recommend. And that's what we've done, what we're doing. So we'll, we'll update you further down whether it's actually easy or hard. Um, but straight away, if you find walking difficult, don't do it. Just get the bus to and from the top. That's what I do. So we are maybe halfway, maybe hopefully a little bit more on our walk. Yeah. And we have come, wait, I can't see it. So there's like a little fence right there. And that's not the highest point, but we think there's like a, the mountain kind of continues up higher, mm. which is where we kind of just came from, from the top of Ez. To put it into perspective, the walk said it'll be 36 minutes. We've been doing it for an hour so far. And, yeah. and we still yeah. got 15 minutes left. But it's been a really nice walk. Also, look at that blue water peeking through there. Hello. Honestly. 
to be way warmer than I expected. I think it's only 14 degrees, but where the sun's actually out compared to yesterday and it was cloudy. Got a sweat on, flipping heck. And I brought a sweater and a jacket with me today. And currently I've got neither of them on. But anyways, this walk is super nice. I would recommend, but if you're a bit unstable or you got like balance issues or you're scared of heights maybe, sometimes it's a bit of a steep drop, but I recommend. Just an FYI, the last little bit, if you're coming down, oh. steep. Makes your legs shake a little bit. Oh, it's, it says one hour here to get up there. They lied on the, on the map, they lied. But according to the sign, it's an hour walk to get up to the top. Do with that what you wish. busy morning in Ez. Um, obviously we've climbed and well, hiked might I say. In fact we've had a nice dip and see we've had the most perfect, perfect the most awesome lunch spot, lunch ever. spot ever. Yeah as Kirsty said. But so now it's about 20 to 1 so we're gonna head into Monaco for a few hours explore and don't you worry guys. We got the tickets. We will be showing you all the super yachts <laughs> and I am very very excited to explore it. Now this will be another another country. Have we dressed the part? I don't think I have. You've got a blazer. Which... I've got a blazer with me and big earrings. Yeah, so you're going to look the part. Yeah, we decided we're not going to try buy anything because we might be bankrupt if we do. That's why we brought our own lunch. Exactly. Oh, yeah. But yeah, make sure to carry on watching. Also, like you were going to say, it's another country ticked off. Exactly. Well, hey. So we're good at doing these because we had Rome last year and then Vatican. Two in one. Not Rome, Italy. I keep saying this. <laughs> we did Italy last year and then the Vatican. And now this time, France and Monaco. Perfect. Wow. So after the most stressful train journey, basically they told us it was the wrong stop. So everyone got off and everyone had to frantically rush and go. I got trapped between the door. Um, the door just shut. It, there was no like option to release them. But yeah, we finally made it to Monaco. So we are very, very excited to show you around. And for us to look around as well. <laughs> sparkling like it's glistening you see it stunning Ooh. look at the view over there we've got views everywhere we've got a massive cruise ship views back there over the port stunning Do you enjoy your apple i've got my apple now <laughs> we're gonna try and get a drink here we think somewhere nice aren't we but we want to first go see monte carlo casino because obviously it's very famous Do you reckon I'll... no so I'll, I'll, lose, I'll lose money knowing me so, behind me, they're clearly getting ready for the Monaco Grand Prix. It's on the 28th of May, so it's still a, pretty much like two months away. But they're starting to put up the well for the stands for the spectators. Yeah. They've got lots of fencing about that. And also, right over there is where they're starting the Monaco. Now, it's a, one of the best F1 circuits in the world. So, to come here and to be here for the Monaco Grand Prix would be pretty special. Fortunately, I think it's out of our price range, <laughs> but maybe one day. Likely not though, right? <laughs> so we're walking.
walking around following the signs to the casino and following Google Maps. We've given up. But we can't find the front door. We it wasn't a fake casino anyway, right? It's just we a building. Can't. We keep, all we keep coming oh, across no. is this fancy hotel called Hermitage. We've given up, so sorry for the lack of content with that. No, I feel like we have to go find no, it, but we I've, can't, I can't find, find it. Out of time. I'm thirsty, I'm hungry. I'm not buying anything here because I'll go bankrupt. But look, this is the nice hotel that we keep walking into though. <laughs> Much to Jake's disgust, apparently. Look! We found it. I found it. Yeah, mine took me the wrong way. Jake wanted to go home. But look! It, <laughs> you look it's so not, miserable! It's not, my, it's not my type of place, I've decided. Jake's been... I'm not, I'm not <laughs> been running towards I've been running for the last five minutes, thank you. <laughs> Update, turns out I was looking at the wrong thing. I thought that was it behind me. And I was like, this is really underwhelming. It's a cafe. It's behind me. Oh my gosh, I can't even ran me over. <laughs> okay, so we just went in a little souvenir shop. Uh, found us a cheeky Christmas bauble, as you oh, may remember from our last Denmark video. And this guy is about to pay for something as well, and he has a little, like, bar. Like a gold, bar. Like a gold bar. bar. And we are assuming that he got that, or had won that in the casino and had like 100 euros to spend. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> Someone was like, is that yours? And I was like, no. Should have said yeah. But maybe I should have said yeah, exactly. 